Ah, uh, welcome. So today we're going to solve a question. Uh, a little bit. So this was a question on the uh, March series uh, this year. So students were able to tackle this question. So I know most of you have never gotten uh, to see these questions. I hope you will learn something better. So I'm um, Gadgira Steven from Matili Technical. Uh, found in uh, Kimilele, so it's a big town just there uh, near the Mount Elgon. So remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, share the content, and educate more learners. Uh, this is question number 6b. Uh, we were given coordinates, so here we had the uh, northing and the easting. So these are the coordinates that we were given on our question. Uh, we were asked to calculate uh, where our M is and we were told M is in the mid point of in between of R and S then we are given uh, coordinates for N so these are negative coordinates for both the easting and the uh, nothing so you remember these are the departures or even the uh, latitudes so we were asked to calculate um, as you can see down there so the coordinates and the bearing of M, then uh, the so those are the coordinates of M and the bearing of M N and the distance. So we go ahead and we calculate our solution. Uh, given uh, these are the coordinates for the northing and the easting. So this is the traditional formula uh, which I commonly use, found in most of the books. So the length of uh, R uh, to S uh, is equals to the uh, this is the square root uh, into brackets. Uh, this is the departure. So this is the eastings of x. Uh, so this is the easting x being represented by the eastings. Uh, so the easting of s and the easting of r. So there we have our values. And then so by subtracting those values and having the square root. So we add the same. So this is the nothing of S minus the nothing of R. So I've done simplified. So here are the values. So gotten from Mama. So the eastings there uh, of S and R. Then here we have the nothings of S and R. So you remember to subtract. Then uh, you find the square root. By the use of a calculator, simple calculation. So here we have our final uh, answer. So this is the difference between those two values there and those values there. So these are the difference. You square them. The final answer you have to find the square root of uh, that. So I have squared and then I have added. Uh, so my distance RS is equals to. So this is 399 point. 92 meters uh, by having that uh, value there so we'll have something so the mid the midpoint uh, the midpoint in between R and S so is found so the midpoint of R and S that's where my M is found so by dividing it by 2, I have gotten my distance where my M is found either from R, uh, RM or RS, uh, we go directly. So, or again I can use this formula. So by having the pole of the difference in the eastings, uh, so this is the difference in the northings and the difference in the things there so I'll get the same answer so this answer that you have gotten here so the distance RS this will be my distance RS so 399.92 uh, then by having the uh, recalling F so this is the formula used by the calculator so by having uh, the recall of F I'll have gotten my now uh, bearing of that uh, having same done that so the mid uh, we divided it by two 
in order for us to get the distance provided to us and the question so the mid of that so from here that will be the representation of the distance covered from r to m and then the bearing is found here so by pulling uh, the uh, difference in, in the northern and the easting so you'll get the distance same thing as what we have done here then by recalling f i will get the uh, bearing of the distance so that will be bearing of r to s so that bearing will apply to everything that is found here in the middle so my m where my m is uh, will have gotten the bearing which is supposed to be 90.0133 so this is the bearing that we have here the bearing applies to the straight line from r to s and m is found on the midway so that bearing applies to it i can use it so from r to m the distance covered that is a half given here is equals to departure uh rm so departure that is the change in easting of uh m and that of uh, r so remember that so that is the change in easting of r and uh, m and then we move on next so over sin 90 uh 0133 uh, by the use of a calculator and cross multiplication so uh, the values so by cross multiplication here so the sign is uh, multiplied by this value and then uh, when moving so when this value comes to this side that will be a negative on the same uh, this xm that is the uh, departure change in easting of m i will have a negative so that's why my final answer here has a negative so you remember that cross multiplication and you are all good and set to go so we'll do the same to the latitude so distance equals to latitude rm uh, change in the not of m minus the, that of uh, r uh, found here on our given uh, coordinates there so that change uh, of a course 90.0133 so by cross multiplication my negative so also here remember the negatives are uh, really uh, do much effect so as you can see i have redone this question so i had not used those negative well and that's why these are now my final correct uh, coordinates so use the calculator well cross multiplication and remember when changing uh, from this side to the other side the negative applies the same in this change in M, the negative applies so that's why my final answer has a negative so there was a negative here because we had moved from uh, this end where we had a positive to the negative there so my final coordinates are a uh, negative uh, 7 uh, 317.29 that is the nothing and the easting uh, 9, 8900 36.69 that is the easting i uh, will move on to the bearing of m n and the distance so we had been provided here our uh, coordinates for n there so i'm going to use the simple uh, method uh, by the use of a calculator so i will pull uh, this is the difference in the nothing and the difference in the easting so here we have a positive because negative negative uh, positive so uh, by doing that your answer will give you the distance then by recalling f will give you the bearings so this is the final representation so this pole uh, uh, pole uh, negative 200.2 uh, uh, comma uh, this 0 0.12 comma uh, by importing that then we hit the is equal sign it will give you a distance of 200 point uh, 20 then by recalling f uh, our bearing will be 179 uh, degrees 57 
minutes 56 seconds so that will be all and that is just the simple representation of what we are going to do easily so remember practice more and you'll get uh, the final uh, correct so this is just the final uh, simpler way by the use of a calculator i've done this much in many more videos uh, you can just check on the next videos found on the uh, similar playlist of survey 2 so much will be uh, given there are you free to ask any question uh, my gmail uh, get, get a steven, uh, gmail com. so that uh, will be much help to you thank you that will be all